Oh, she's down there, so what if I go up top? I shouldn't go in there. Ah, fine. Ah, there you are. Oh, it took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground. You stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not that bad. Was well, that so? I'll give you a head start then, miss. I will count to 30 so you have more time to hide. All right. Really? Yes, really. I'll be going now. Do your best, all right? All right. Eh, I think the mirror said it would help. Yes. This is like in the story. Life is brief, one of three. I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. I think this is Elise on top. Fortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please. Do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. Hmm. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Uh oh. What are you doing in here? Letta, I'm sorry. I just found this room and I didn't mean to read. I asked you what you were doing in here. Answer me. Nothing. I just... I just... Just what? I told you I wanted you to stay here with me, to be my friend and live in my home with me. What do you care about are these selfish lies. I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies. The photo, I'm not. You're coming with me, miss. The place where the ill-behaved girls belong. You've been a bad friend, miss. But I don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. Goodbye, miss. But I don't know. You get out of here. Got an attic. Locked. Small doll aimlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. Oh, handle. Ooh, what's going on? You're finally here. You've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's as beautiful as I thought she would be. Of course she is. She's the chosen one. You're the chosen one. You need to get out of here. Toy said quietly, neatly lines up on the tall shelves. The broken nutcracker soldier leans against the wall. His eyes have been plucked out. You've been expecting you, miss. Don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. Chosen one. The doll's eyeballs wildly roll in their sockets as she mutters incomprehensible gibberish. Okay. So, what I want to do is go all the way back.
instead of being in that room, let's see what happens if I try anything else. Table, maybe? Oh. That's interesting. Shouldn't go in there. I can't even go all the way up top. What are you doing here? Why aren't you hiding? I didn't have time to find a place to hide. Didn't have time. Are you still going on with your ugly lies, miss? But I'm not. I'm not lying. Had it with you, miss. It seems we can't really be friends after all. Lada, what do you mean? Come with me. I'm taking you where you belong. Lada, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I just... Bad. I'm already upset. I Come with me. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Lada! Ooh. Okay then. Whoops. Oh dear, it seems she fell down the stairs. Poor thing. Do you think that hurt? Oh well. Okay, so I checked the... what? I made it to the second floor rooms? I didn't check the third floor rooms. I can't go to the top floor. What is in there counting? I have to hide. Can't go to the top floor. Ooh. Ah, so it changes even if I do that, huh? Okay, so it's like a nasty... Oh, was that? It's really dark in here. Alright, so I have to take the light. Shelves. Countless stall stare down the, at the quarter, their intense gazes following whoever dares glance at them. Old rocking horse weakly stands on its broken hooves, forced to lean against the wall for support. I'm so glad you're here, miss. You can finally help us. Help you with what? Don't act like you don't know. It's a big relief for all of us to have you here, miss. 
can't wait. Some of the toys have closed their eyes, simply sitting on their shelves. Covered in grimy fur, the big teddy bear gazes into emptiness. Pitch black, thick tears slowly drip down its stained cheeks. I've waited my whole life for this moment. I'm finally going to be able to rest in peace. The dolls slowly rock themselves back and forth in an obsessive, almost sickly cycle. The stuffed head of a rabbit rests against a corner, its ears mercilessly ripped. Please don't blame Princess Fluttish, she doesn't mean any harm. But she's so... she's so what? She's so mean. Mean? Princess Flood isn't mean, she's just lonely. What? You're just as lonely as she is, aren't you? <laughs> this hallway... This place isn't so bad, right? I have so many friends here, it's a really pleasant place. This place isn't so bad, right? Uh, okay, same thing. Having had their mouths sewn, the dolls resign themselves to observing their surroundings. Hmm. Various broken dolls rest on their shelves, most of them missing one or more body parts. None of the dolls sitting on the shelves have facial features. I need to cross over to the other side somehow. The toys sit quietly, neatly lines up on the tall shelves. That startled me. You're only hope, miss. That doll again. Hmm. Oh yeah, that one from the beginning. Where'd it go? There once was a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Dorothy and Maybell. Maybell and Dorothy, sworn best friends as close as two peas in a pod, both had received their blessings from God. Twins Giletta and Isabella, standing as the youngest, and yet said to be the strongest. Maylene was the town liar, who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Eventually, they came across the little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, she told them, brandishing the tool in the air. We can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts, as if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the girls to partake of her magic. On her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girls' betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dare lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging? The witch asked the girls, to which they replied, 
Maylene did it. Dorothy always says the truth, cried Maybelle. Eletta is a liar. Maybelle stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never be, pleaded Giletta. Maylene may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, explained Isabella. You can trust Maybelle. I'm sure it was Giletta who stole the wand, shouted Maylene. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until her very last breath. What a horrible story. Oh. Oh dear, to steal my most precious belonging. Hmm. Box of matches. Must now fulfill your fate, miss. Maylene did it. Dorothy always says the truth. That is a liar. Maybell stole the wand. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never lie. Aileen may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. You can trust Maybell. I'm sure it was Gitilla who stole the wand. Um, this is probably not the right one. But she did say she'd play with a fire. Can't believe it, I'm saved! Thank you so much, miss. What? Ah, choose the wrong one and you die. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, there's the door. It's locked. <laughs> Where did it go? Add do the story again. Okay. So trust Maybell. We told us stole it in Maybell. Eileen did it. Dorothy always says the truth. Okay, where's Dorothy? He's innocent. Isabella would never lie. You tell us a lie, or maybe I'll stole the wand. Italy may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. Ah, well, we know that for sure. Hmm. He's innocent. Isabella would never lie. Hmm.
Okay, so Gillette is a liar. Mabel stole the wand. Gilletta. Dorothy's innocent. Which is not true. Isabella would never lie. Hmm. Red Lady may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. That means she can lie. Bell stole the wand. Hmm. Maybell? Uh, no. Okay then. That means that Althea <laughs> does lie. Okay. The laser three in the back. Okay. So that mean Dorothy did it. No. Okay, that leads us down to two, I guess. Okay, so now we're just down to two choices. I'm just gonna take a guess this one. Nope. Nope, oh, one of the pink. Okay, so by process of elimination, girl in pink. Yep. Divine punishment has been rightfully administered. That's what you get for being a thief. Just a key. I bet it wasn't Maybell. Now I know who my real friends are. Isabella. Got there it is. No oh, pumpkin didn't change. Okay. Fucked. Use the rusty key. So dark. Scissors? Take them, because there's nothing else to do. Rusty scissors. Maybe I could use this to get out of here. Just these notes again. You took my most precious belonging from me. It's only fitting I do the same. I wonder who could have written something like this. There's hair coming out of this mirror. The mirror surface emanates an ephemeral ghostly glow. 
Mm. Oh. What was that? Eh. I think the wall fixed itself. Oh, that's gonna be up here, right? Nope. Okay, so it wasn't that. What do you want to get up for? I thought you were staying here with us. I, I'm not staying here. Please, miss, don't leave us. We need you, miss. No. You must stay. I'm not allowed to leave. I have to leave this place. Uh oh. They're coming after me. Eh, what happens? I think you just die. Yep. Yep, you just have a game over. Run, don't let him touch you. Give me the board. Oh, the big guy. Run. You need to save us, miss. You can't leave us like this. You mustn't kill, miss. You have to save them. Oh, too slow. That's only because I was talking to everything. Okay, let's do it the right way this time. Yes. <laughs> what is this place? Beloved garden. <laughs> 